This is a video to show the drop off and pick up on the new area on Homestretch, or what used to be Homestretch Avenue, on the southern side of campus. This particular area is only for drop off and pick up of sixth graders. You will see you will be able to come into this area uh, by turning right or left off of Wallapai. Uh, it is recommended that you come to campus from the north so that you can turn right off of Wallapai. It'll be very difficult at a drop-off or pickup time to turn left into a line of cars waiting. And so it is recommended you come from the north so that you can turn right onto home stretch from Wallapai. Uh, but you will come up past the front office parking lot and you'll approach a gate that will be open here um, during it will be closed during the day it'll only be open during the drop off and pickup times but you can see straight ahead of us here that this is wide enough for two lanes of cars though it's likely not safe for us to have three full lanes of cars here um, and so this area really needs to be kept clear except for moving vehicles so do not pull over to this side of the curb and ask your child to walk from the sidewalk over to your car. It's not safe for them to do that. Um, to pick up your child or drop off your child, you must wait your turn to pull against the curb here along the right side. And you'll see, um, the as I drive through here, you'll see me do that um, coming, through the, coming through the gate here. There's some workers there the morning that I filmed the, the video, but that's there's a spot right there. So I pull right in and park, and then I allow my child to get out and over to the sidewalk and walk down the sidewalk this way to the entrance where the sixth graders will go in and out of campus. Um, and, and then I'm going to pull back out into this area. Um, it is recommended that if I already have my child picked up or I've already dropped off my child, that when I go back into the flow of traffic here, of course, you're gonna to wanna to look over your shoulder and make sure it's safe to go, but that you get all the way over to the left, right? Because people in this middle lane here or closer to the side are gonna be slowing down and trying to park or pulling out. Um, and so to, to make it as safe as possible, once I've dropped off my child or once I've picked up my child, I need to try to get to this side over here. But as I come down, this gate on the other end will always be closed. There's no exit or entrance on that side. Um, when I get down to here, of course, there may be a couple of lanes of cars that are waiting to, to do a U-turn here to get back out of campus. So we wanna be careful there as well, be courteous to each other. Um, you know, the, the best way to do this, the best way to get in and out of campus um, quickly and easily is to follow the rules, to be courteous to each other. Um, there's no, it's not necessary to, um, to get angrier or, or frustrated, though drop off and pickup times can be frustrating for sure. Um, as I come across this way, this gate will still be open. Um, if I come in this way and I go and I'm coming through here and my child is not available to be picked up yet in the afternoon. So they're, maybe they're still in class, or not, maybe, maybe they're still you know, getting help after school, or they're just not out on the sidewalk yet. Um, I cannot park and just sit there and wait. This is a drop off and pick up area. If they're not available to pick up, you need to continue down and turn around, and then you may have to U-turn here to go back into the loop. Because if you exit out to Wallapai, you're gonna have to turn right, and you're gonna have to go all the way around the block back up to Charleston and back down. So if you are here in pickup time and you don't have your child yet, you're going to U-turn back into the flow of traffic here, of course, carefully and courteously um, to the other drivers. For this purpose, we'll say I already have my child or I've already dropped my child off. Again, this gate will be open, so you won't have to sit here and wait for it to open like I do. But when I get up to Wallapai, there is a light, and so we're not going to say that you must turn right, um, though if there are too many people who are trying to turn left and they're stopped at the light, then what is that gonna, what's gonna happen is uh, congestion is gonna back up all behind them all the way in through the gate. And so um, if at all possible, when you leave campus, 
you should be heading straight across Wallapai off this way or turning right to exit campus to limit the amount of congestion that backs up behind you.